here we are now Everything's about to change We face tomorrow As we say goodbye to yesterday A chapter ending But the story's only just begun The page is turning For everyone And so I'm moving on Letting go Holding on to tomorrow And I've always got The memories while I'm finding out Who I'm gonna be We might be apart But I hope you always know You'll be with me Wherever I go So, hey everyone um, That was just me playing guitar for just a little bit To kind of, you know, play it out and see how it went. Uh, I think it went pretty good. Let me know how I did in the comments below. Um, but yeah, so today is going to be a little bit of a mixed video. Um, for one, I'm not in the best mindset. Uh, my bunny's ashes. My bunny died last week and her ashes came the other day. And it was a box. It's a very nice box in here. There's some flowers and plants. But um, I wasn't really in the best mindset. I didn't film a video. But I couldn't make myself edit it because it was about my bunny and she, Roxy, she, she was very important to me so I kind of decided to just hold off on editing that video and putting it up when I feel mentally prepared to edit it. So that being said, let's jump into this video. Alright, so we're looking at, for this lab in particular, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at charges and electromagnetic fields. In particular, we're, we're particularly looking at what happens when you have different circumstances of protons and electrons in a certain placements. Um, so for example, when we look at... Okay, so I'm going to turn my screen recording on now. And when we grab... Uh, we do a dipole interaction. We grab two positives and we also grab one negative. We place the positive on one end and the negative on the other. What we end up, what we end up seeing is the positive, the positive protons are being pulled toward the electron. So you can see the, the energy being, being kind of like away from the, pro the, the, photon the protons and into the electron. And if we were to take a sensor, we can see that at this point right here, that energy is going there and it's going really fast, it's a lot of energy and it's going straight across the screen, down that way, right? Down like straight that way. And then, if we moved closer, it would probably get shorter and shorter. Now, what happens if we, so, the lab wants me to find different values. So it wants me to find the, equ the equipotential or the potential where they're equal to each other, where, where the positive end is equal to the negative end, so, at 0 volts, at 5 volts, at 10 volts, at 15 volts, at 20 volts, at 25 volts, and they're all negative for those ones as well. Except for 0, because you can't have a, a negative 0. Um, um, that being said, uh, let's try and find the 0 line, the 0 mark, right? So we have a negative, we have 2, we have 1, we have 2, we have point. Okay, we're getting close. That That's pretty much close enough, right? That, that's as close as we're going to get for this one. So let's um do this line, we'll create a little circle around the electron and you can kind of see it but it kind of cuts off here and that's okay because that's the field of the of the electron so if we were to I don't know move it closer this would be uh, it at let's say negative 15 right um, or yeah I'll just negative 15 Okay, and I'll do negative. I'll do I'll do positive five. How's that? Okay. So, as you can tell, along all these different inter intervals of negative fifteen, of um, of yeah, negative. I think it was ten for that one, or negative five, and this one's positive five. No, sorry, that one's zero, negative 15, and then positive 5. So as you can tell, 
it um, with that with the X potential with the X potential rise of five volts because it's further away from the positives or the, or the photons, it tends to be weaker um, compared to the electron, which is at 15 here, and then at zero, they're about equal to each other. So it's kind of like this whole give and take of of what will happen if you put if you connect two protons together or two protons together. You know, well, plus 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 equals repel. So they'll want to go opposite each other. So they're trying to go like this way and that way, and just so just so they won't go that way. You know, so all this force is leading that way and that way into the that way because it doesn't want to go that way. Versus if you were to have the protons and the electrons right there and there, they, you know, the, the energy, the electric energy is traveling from the proton to the electron and it's, it's kind of directing it towards there, so it's really interesting to see all this stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the lab I'm looking at. We also have to do this one, which I'm in the middle of doing right now. And this one in particular is really frustrating because um, it's, it involves a lot of different proton, of different protons and, neut and electrons, and it's really frustrating because it's just a lot going on. And I am so I'm not confused. It's just frustrating that it's this long, and that I have to do this many calculations. Not, not in calculations, but just drawing out lines. And it's just a it's. I am very privileged. This is the first world problem I get. This. This is the first world problem I get. This. But I, I do. This is just a lot, and I am really stressed out and really frustrated, so I need to get to this. I will see you guys in the next video, and I'll try to edit this this week. Uh, bye, guys. I'll see you next time, and peace.